Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So I thought that I would do my makeup and then also show you what I eat in a day. Um, warning, I am dragging through this video <laughs> because this is like real time, like it's super early. I put time markers on the video so you kind of see what, you know, the time was and how early it was. And this is what I do for work every day. You know, I know it seems like a lot, but it takes me about 23, 24 minutes um, to do my makeup. But yeah, I also wanted to just show you how I use my fitness pal. I do use the free version of the uh, my fitness pal because it's free. <laughs> um, so basically, I'm showing you what I eat and then how I log it into my fitness pal. <clears throat> So yeah, how you all been doing? I've been doing good. Just busy life and life and life. Daughter's going back to school and so you're getting all those things ready. But yeah, um, <clears throat> excuse me, got a little tickle in my throat. Uh, what I'm putting on here is just some Becca because I tend to get oily. And so I'll prep my skin with that. And then I'm wearing a mask all day. Um, so this really just helps my makeup to stay put that cup there like i'm a huge office fan and so those are um that's what she said like those are all the quotes from the show <laughs> from the show after all the episodes they put all the that's what she said on a cup so yeah it's my favorite cup but yeah you can see here how i am um going in and i'm logging my fitness pile and then you can also see um, the calories, like how many calories I have. I have my calories, my calorie count set so that I'm losing approximately one pound a week. So I can still have my treats and, you know, when I have a sweet tooth or what have you, <clears throat> I can still stay within my calorie range and still lose the weight. The great thing about it is that it only takes a couple of minutes to log in, not very long. So I've had my coffee. And I'm awake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, excuse me. I was trying to be awake. I don't drink my coffee until after I do my makeup. So that's why I just was just, I know it's probably hard to watch, but. So I did that poll um, on YouTube asking you guys, did you guys want to see me do my makeup and talk about what goes and you overwhelmingly overwhelmingly said yes so I hope you guys like this if you have um, questions about any of the products that I'm using let me know um, but yeah I just kind of want to show you basically how I do it oh this here too um, on the my fitness pal you can just scan the barcode as you can see on the product and it will just log everything for you so I mean, if you're drinking like a shake or microwavable meal or something like that like it works amazingly also if you notice that timestamp, it was like 12 28 or 12 21 or something like that which is almost five hours after I had breakfast um, I have a lot of protein in the morning so it really does hold me um, pretty much all day and I tend to eat lunch every day at around two o'clock so I eat my lunch pretty late but that's because the protein is really um, holding me over and a lot of that came just because I was on Wagovi and I wasn't eating um, a lot or very often and my I just became accustomed to it and so you know with me not being on Wagovi anymore I just kept that up and so that's kind of what I talk, was talking about in a previous video was, you know, learning good habits. Now you may need to eat more frequently and that's okay. You have to cater your day to, you know, what works best for you. So um, I tend to consume the majority of my calories um, for dinner. So um, I've also logged that so you can kind of see and as you can see also I'm not eating like I'm getting ready to do some type of bodybuilding or bikini <laughs> contest or something you know I'm eating for my body and I eat where I feel full and satiated and I don't feel like I'm starving hi guys it is now lunchtime. I hope you guys are liking the way I'm doing this let me know if it's too much or 
what you guys think. But yeah, um, yeah, here's my food. It's about 16 grams of protein. Um, and then I've got some water to drink. So I filled this up about four or five times with 16 ounces. So I do try to get my water in in the daytime. So yeah. So one of the things that I did want to mention that I have been struggling with um, really since stopping the Wagovi is I've been struggling with a lot of um, water weight gain. Um, and, you know, you see that number go down and then you'll see it like jump back up. But I also know about your nine scale victories. I put a video out last week and basically just was saying hey measure yourself because you know you can still be getting smaller and that is absolutely true but um, as you guys know i do um, struggle with perimenopausal symptoms and i found out that that is one of the symptoms which is water retention so um, i have to stick in my mind like okay i know this is water weight because i know that i'm staying within my calorie count i know that i'm exercising every day i know that i'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do to stay on track. And so I can, I know that my clothes are getting smaller. I'm measuring myself so I can see that the inches are getting smaller. But um, yeah, that's something that I'm struggling with. And so I've been looking up ways on how to counteract that um, so that I'm not retaining, you know, so much water. Cause sometimes I can tell like my wedding ring will be tight and I'm like, oh my God, I know exactly uh, what's happening. But yeah, oh my gosh. I think I did mention that the Wagovi, it stopped my hot flashes and I don't remember, you know, holding that much weight. So I think a study needs to be done on the impacts that Wagovi has for perimenopausal and menopausal women because like, oh my God, it was life changing. And now, you know, just all that jazz, the not sleeping, I think at the big, right at the beginning of the of this video I was having another hot flash and it's like fanning and it is a whole mood oh my god it's a whole mood but yeah so yeah back to the video um I even measured out three Werther's original guys <laughs> that really gives me like if I'm having a sweet tooth in the middle of the day in the middle of the day did I just say that super fast um I did speed this up um, for my foundation routine part because I mean I'm just blending my foundation and also I blend two foundations so that it kind of matches me and I get my favorite and perfect shade um, I also wanted to mention um, when you're doing the um, my fitness pal so if you're wearing like a Fitbit or a watch or you just carry your phone around with you it, you can link your uh, watch with the My Fitness Pal, and it would actually calculate your steps, and it will um, calculate them inside of your daily caloric intake. So it will adjust it. So, um, like if I walk, say, 30 minutes for lunch, you know, it'll add 130 calories or 140 or whatever it is, it'll add it to my daily caloric intake. So it will adjust your workouts for you. So I think that's pretty cool. So, I mean, you're really, even if you're not running, cause I'm not running anywhere, but walking, like I take a nice walk and it will calculate that. I mean, cause I'm just moving my body. I think I talked about that all the time. Just move your body. You will be amazed amazed at how many steps you're actually taking even if you're just you know you walk to your living room you walk back to your couch you walk upstairs like if you're just being aware that you're actually moving your body like it counts for something if you guys notice here i i'm just kind of all over the place with this because i'm trying to keep up but yeah i use a white eyeliner in my uh waterline because it makes me look so much more awake i don't use brown or black really because it kind of closes the eye especially when i'm as tired as i usually am in the morning but you better believe by the time i leave um home I am ready for the day. So yeah, as you can see on the left, I'm ending my day with some water and my meal. I had made these little chicken sliders. And so um, I even calculated like the barbecue sauce, the chicken, like I calculated everything because if you miss something, you'll be wondering why you're over because you're not calculating everything. So 
um, once you start eating around the same type of stuff most of the time, um, you'll kind of get a gauge of how much uh, calories are in something. And you can even put things in there like Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, um, some of your local restaurants, like they will be in there too because it'll ask you for your zip code and things like that. So, I mean, it is a really great tool. So, and I'm not sponsored for this because I would tell you guys if I was. So, if they watch this and they need to go ahead and sponsor you guys because, I mean, I am a firm advocate and believer in this product. So, um, yeah. I also wanted to point out, um, if you go back and look at my last um like a couple minutes into this video, I was showing you uh, like my little Debbie treat. Um, and I did calculate that as well. But I still had like 400 calories left by the end of the day. Like I, I was in a deficit. So um, when you're, you know, if you at the end of the day and you still have calories left, like I may use that for a cheat day. So it's like, OK, you know, I may go out Friday and then it's like, you know what? I'm not going to even count calories because I already know that I've been in a calorie deficit for several days. And as you can see, it calculated and I just walk that day, calculated like 136 calories for me. So, um, yeah. So here um, finishing up my makeup. Um, it's natural ish. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's easy. I don't have to do too much with the eyes. Um, I use a liquid, um, lipstick. I use that as a lip liner and, um, I'll go in and, you know, add another liquid lipstick in the middle of it. And that will pretty much hold me all day. Um, even though the Maybelline brand, like, oh my God, I don't know what they put in that stuff, but it does not come off. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And welcome to my new uh, subscribers. Thanks for joining the family. I'll see you guys later. Bye.